guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making mahi-mahi and a spinach rice casserole. So I'm gonna start first, because my rice isn't finished yet, um, with my mahi-mahi. This is two pieces, they're each two points, so I have four points of that total. And then I have one tablespoon, nope, excuse me, one teaspoon of olive oil. And then I have just some seasoning. This is a lemon orange pepper blend. Um, so that's just for the fish. And then if we move over here, this is everything that I need for my casserole. Um, this is gonna make a double batch. So I have this casserole dish, which is what I'm gonna cook tonight. Then I have this one, which I'm just going to end up putting in the freezer. So my rice is still cooking, but you will need two cups of rice. You'll need a half a cup of cheese, two cups or a half a cup of uh, liquid eggs. Each one is, or a fourth of a cup is a point. So this is two points for that. And then you'll need about a half a cup or so of milk. So all together, this whole entire thing for both casseroles is gonna be 19 points. So when you divide that into two, and then you divide that into, I'm saying that each one of these is gonna serve four servings. That is only 2.3 points per serving, just for that. So that, I'll round up and say it's three points for the casserole. And then the fish is a total of five points altogether. So that's an eight point dinner and we're gonna get a lot of food. So I'm going to put the olive oil on there and then some seasoning, close it up, and I'm going to put it in the oven at 375 um, for um, maybe like 25 minutes or so. So I'm going to do that, and then I will show you guys once my rice is finished uh, how I'm going to make the casserole. See you in a sec. So I forgot to tell you one of the most important ingredients of this casserole is the spinach. That's how we're gonna bulk it up with some veggies and make it healthier for us. So this is just one package of the frozen chopped spinach I thawed out in a strainer. And to that is my two cups of brown rice. So um, that's what's in there right now. And I'm going to spray these pans with non-stick non cooking spray. Both of them, even though this one's gonna go in the freezer. When I do get around to cooking it, I don't want it to stick, obviously. So I'm going to add my egg in there. So a half of a cup of egg. And then I'm going to add my half a cup of cheese. The website I, or the YouTube video I found for this, she uses two cups of cheese uh, for this and, it, and she's making a double batch too. But um, I don't want all that cheese in there. I think this will probably do the trick. So it looks like it's plenty. So, all right. So I'm also going to add about like a fourth of a cup, maybe, of fat free milk. I might need to add a little bit more. I'm not sure yet. It looks like it has good texture right now. So, I'm gonna, I am going to add another fourth of a cup because once I do bake this, it's going to soak up even, the rice is going to soak up even more liquid. So it's better to have it a little bit more liquidy than too dry. See all that liquid down there? That'll get soaked up. Okay. And then I just have some extra green onions from something I made a while ago. I don't remember. I'm going to throw that in there, throw some of those in there, and then I'm just going to add salt and pepper to it. Okay, so I stirred in the salt and pepper and I transferred the mixture into my baking dishes. Now in the beginning of this video I said that I was going to make two. And so it would be three point servings each. Um, I, I don't know if you can see that, but I don't like how full that is. It's not full enough. So I'm just going to add the rest of this to that one. And so my total of 19 points for this whole entire casserole 
will be divided up into four servings uh, just for this casserole and it will be 4.75 points so I'm gonna say it's five points so five points for that and then five points for my fish over there and that will be a 10 point dinner instead of an eight point dinner which I am perfectly happy with that so this definitely doesn't look like a double batch so I don't know what the other gal did in her video but hers looked way bigger so maybe I'll have to do like four cups next time to make two casserole dishes so I'm gonna get that in there um, and then I'm gonna take a picture of everything after it's all done cooked and before I eat it and I'll show you what it looks like so as always I will put at the end of the video a description of or a breakdown of the amount of points that I used for the amount of points for the foods that I used for the fish and the casserole so I hope you guys like this video comment below if you end up trying it and if you make any modifications let me know your tips and your tricks i'll see you guys later thanks for watching